Welcome. This video is created to give a basic introduction to the STAD software. The STAD it stands for Structural Analysis and Design. We have numerous softwares for the same purpose, and STAD is one of the softwares which is very useful and very user friendly. So, open the STAD. You can open the installed start file. So this will be the interface of the start. So if we have already uh, created some files in the start, it will be shown in the recent files. And in this interface, you can see the start pro version. Select series six is the uh, corresponding version of the start file and it is provided by the Benly systems on the left side you can see the project task one is a new project to open and start a new project work open project you can browse through and open the already uh, like the pending work or the already completed works then you can open from project wise uh, there is there are different types of projects available uh, mechanical uh, and so on so you can open from this tab and you can configure the start pro software by clicking on the configuration here in this one you can set the working directory in which uh, you can tell the software to the location to save the start files you can change the background color to white or black then you can set the default design codes so as you know the start can be used for analysis analyzing the structure as well as designing the structure so the designing the structure it depends or it varies from different countries there are different codes so you can default set the design codes say for steel code we are using in india is 800 so you can select the indian standard 800 code 2007 limit state design like similar to that the concrete design code is the is 456 you can see browse through Yeah, you can find here is power process so you can uh, before starting the work yeah. itself you can directly set the default descent codes here and then global access orientation you can uh, make either the is up direction or y, di y direction up then penlink connect is to directly mail the uh, people then we have the different uh, start editor which is the uh, uh, file which contains every uh, commands elaborate that uh, we are using the graphical interface for uh, giving different commands in start we can click on different icon and do the work as we need and whatever we are clicking all those will be saved as a command file so either even uh, without using the graphical interface we can directly go to the command file and edit the uh, required inputs then we have we can set the basic uh, unit here itself then uh, section profile tables are there uh, when you're working with the steel code you can load it uh, before opening the start file so these are the uh, different configuration options in start before we start in the prompt then we have the backup manager uh, which will enable the auto automatic saving of the files and clicking on this we can see the license options uh, of our corresponding uh, start file and uh, here on the left side itself we can see the advanced analysis engine start bridge build planner which can be switched on if you require so.
and on the right side we have the recent files as I explained and you can see so many help topics like help content, technical support, product news, knowledge base and the what's new options uh, which you can export by us. To open a new project, I have to click on the new project icon. When you click on that, you can see space which is used for analyzing a three-dimensional structures. The plane is for analyzing the vertical 2D structures. Floor is for horizontal 2D structures. And the truss members which will take only the axial forces uh, and not bending. For those structures, you can use the truss. You can give the file name here. Location also you can uh, finalize here. So you can see here the definition. The space is a, a space structure. It's a three-dimensional frame structure with loads applied in any plane and is most general. When you click on the plane, you can see a plane structure is bound by a global XY coordinate system with loads in the same plane. And floor structure is a horizontal uh, 2D or a 3D structure. And you can see the truss. Consists of truss members which can have only the axial member forces and no bending is possible for this type of uh, structures. Okay. So generally we will open a uh, space model for 3D analysis and at the bottom of this dialog box you can see the units uh, which you can set meter and the force units. If you haven't configured the units uh, in this uh, configuration, you can change. Even after that, also you can change from here for your new work. Then you should click on the next option. Okay. And you can see different options like add beam, add plate, add solid. So you can tick whatever is necessary even you can start with the add beam and once you go into the problem or the project you can later on add plate solids etc the fourth one is the open structure wizard uh, which is having some default models which is already done and so you can like the trust model is available in that or uh, the frame model is available in that you can open that and you can change the dimensions which will Minimize your modeling time. I'll open that later. The start editor, uh, this is option uh, which I told. Whatever you are doing in the software, it will come in a command file. And this is option direct, directly go to the editor option. And this is to edit the job information. So if you click on the start editor option uh, and just click on finish, you can see that. Yeah, this is the corresponding start editor file. So as of now, we have given that our model space, which is shown here. Then start job information and date, uh, everything is uh, given here. So suppose uh, after analyzing the structure, you want to later change the model to plane, you can type here this plane. So this way also you can run the file. Right, so I'll just uh, close it and open it again to show you the structure wizard. Again, I'm opening the start. So, new project uh, space structure uh, D start folder is fine. Next, okay, open structure wizard is the next one. Uh, finish. So, when you open this one can see clearly on the left side the model types you have truss models available like practice where and how bridge that is how group and north light clicking on the frame model you have the bare frame grid frame floor grid reverse cylindrical frame cyclical frame and for a circular brick beam as well as a continuous beam in surface or Mod, plate model you have the polygonal white 
sorry polygonal plate with holes circular plate with holes quadrilateral plate cooling tower spherical surface cylindrical surface hyperbolic parabolic parabolic shell and in the solid model you have the solid block composite models are available like the banger or silo and you can even import the cad models uh, which is saved in the dsf format from using this option import cad model you can click on here and if the autocad file is saved in the dxf model it can be imported and the last one is a vba uh, my uh, macro models this is the prototype model and this is the saved user model which you can uh, do uh, your own it means you model something and you can save that one uh, for using your later project so coming to the prototype model and clicking on the trust model we will uh, see how to import these uh, models to the main start file so you are clicking on the prattrus On clicking on the Pratterus, you have a dialog box coming, model name Pratterus, and you can give here the length. Length is the total length of the Pratterus. You can edit here. Maybe I'm giving it double the values, 100. Height, I'm giving uh, 20. Width, I am uh, giving it as uh, 20. And number of bays along the length. Along the length, how many bays you require. I'm just putting it as two and number of bays along width. I'm just putting it as three. So it will be two will be there along the length and three will be there back to back. On clicking on apply, you can see here. So one, one is uh, from here, then two, then three is uh, three are there back to back. To export uh, this model to the main start file. Then click on edit. Uh, sorry, you can click on file. If you see the file, you have a new option open, save, save as, select units, merge model with start pro model, which are to use for the, the purpose. Okay, then in edit, you have add or paste model in start pro, change property, scale, assisting model. Then different uh, viewing options are there. So you can either use a uh, merge model with start pro model or you can either use, I guess, uh, this add or paste model. We'll do with the merge model. Clicking on that. Would you like to transfer or merge this prototype into the start pro? Okay. So the move prototype model by distance between the nodes okay by following so the model will be positioned at 0 0 0 okay yeah so the model is imported directly to the start model so you can see the y up is the uh, direction and you may configure the set up in the configuration option in the first uh, while opening the start file Exploring the overall uh, start file, you have the file option, file, new, open, close, open archive, and a lot of things to explore, which uh, deals with the file management. Then editing uh, options are available, the different viewing options of the model, then different tools to check the uh, member length, uh, member size, check for duplicates, all are available under the tools tab. Different uh, selection options for very high multi story buildings, you may have different number of beams and columns. So, how to select it based on your need are uh, yeah, this auto say option which you have given in the configuration. Yes, so select options are there. Uh, geometry, uh, how to model that one for circular repeat transition repeat and all those things will come in the job geometry then different uh, commands option this is to analyze the model after uh, making the model and applying the loads and the mode uh, modeling options window helps are there 
and the other comments uh, are the uh, like uh, for these are for viewing the model front view top back side view side view all there and these are for rotating the models these are for drawing the beams plates etc for zooming and this triangle is for saving uh, seeing it in the uh, 3d model so if you click on this you can see a 3d model but as we have been given the uh, different uh, member sizes this is shown as a line element coming back then on the top side you have a different uh, a photo taking picture of this model options uh, then cut section view options uh, dimensioning uh, to know the length of the member all those options are available in the second tab and on the left side you have different options to select the nodes select the beams all the things so if you have to select suppose this node this has to be active yeah and we can select a beam with uh, this option for that one you can see nodes cursor you get to switch off that or you click on the beams cursor directly the it will be active and all the beams will be selected which is in contact so uh, when you select this one you can see the this one and this one is in contact right yeah. so those will be selected on selecting the beam cursor then plate cursor we don't have any plate cursor so, so nothing will be selected so those options are there then uh, the geometry general analysis prints are there for working with the models and for uh, like analyzing the structure so we will see and use these commands in the upcoming video thank you